we are a local wood merchant getting the timber to make this uh, greenhouse Tarks of Walsham really good place if you've never been here you want to come here Erin Dawes is here helping as ever aren't you Erin Dawes you're helping I'm helping oh, look at a that friend phone. of mine is demolishing an old outbuilding in his house just while we go look at those beautiful primroses and he's given us the glass so double glazed units some of them have failed, I must admit, but they'll be perfectly good. That's the window. So they're the units, I've measured them all. There's nine of them plus the window and two more, or four more, I think, potentially, I could have. And we're making, on that wall there, for our indoors, a lean-to greenhouse. And there's the wood that we bought. There's about 208 quid's worth of wood. Add the met posts, about 300 and... 40 quid's worth of wood there, should be more than plenty. And the first job is yesterday, which was to try and kill the um, green on the wall. It's gonna go here, and we're now painting the wall. Right, well that's two coats of Santex pink we've put on there, and George just finishing up in the corner. I think two will be enough. The blotchy there is a bit of a shadowing from the tree. When this dries properly, it actually gets a uh, um, more even like that over there but two is enough for us out. so it's been a miserable old day really dingy this is uh, Easter Sunday and we've got the temporary framework up fixed the bits to the wall measurements are all right it's all level this is just temporary so we know where to knock the uh, met posts in because we haven't got a lot of leeway but I think this method will work Shit got to on day one really, that's to stop me poking my eye out. Um, yeah. So we're now putting this post in, which is getting it level is the trick with these map posts, but I should drive in and the block under it like over there, and that should be good. Oh indoors forget we've got an extra hour of light today. But we have Glyn, we hit a stone or something there, so we stopped putting that in, but that's fine. And there's the frame. That bit at the bottom is just temporary. More progress tomorrow and Tuesday, hopefully. Right, this is where we're at. This is Easter Monday, and we've had a couple of hours from about seven o'clock onwards. We're now going out with the family, and uh, we've got a main structure built. That's got to be cut off when we know the roof sheet then. We've got the first piece of glass in. These are double glazed units and they have blown in places, some of them, but it's all free, so, you know, what do you expect? Yeah, so, getting a well, got to cut that down and cut that down. The bottom there is supported like that, so working well. Unfortunately, I haven't filmed much of this uh, greenhouse construction from uh, repurposed materials, as they're indoors. So this is a part, some of the repurposed triple wall roof sheet we've been using. So we got given that. There's the remain of the glass that we don't need. Lots of slop and mud because the rain has come again. And this is where we're at. So we're nearly done. So the roof sheet on the top. And these are all double glazed units. Some of them are blown a bit for a greenhouse, they're fine. And we put the wood down there. We're just using now the triple wall to go along there. And there'll be a door there, which I shall make. We'll put a little bit of weatherboard up there. And that'll be infilled. And there's the inside. Really nice atmosphere in there. Right, let's get on with it. Shit we. Right, so in the greenhouse build, this is where we're at now. It is virtually finished. Keep tiffling for ages, but um, I made a door. I just made it myself or ourselves and then we put that in we're just going to put a little bit of a decking walkway and decking here and then put the last couple of bits of soil in and then this is done we've done a little bench in there but yeah and then I may because it's, it's very hot in there in this little triangular bit here just put like a flap down bit so we can close it or leave it so that um, it cools off a bit. I'm quite pleased with it. Total cost has been about 500 quid to 600 quid. I don't know about fixings. I bought several fixings, but I bought more than I need. Um, 
because most of it was free for my friend Clive. The second hand glass and the triple wall polycarbonate. Look at this. Her indoors decided she wanted a very posh floor in her new greenhouse. So all I can say is that decking and stuff, that cost me. Hmm. Right, and there the posh walkway decking is done. I'll make it better though because that was narrowish and it's a bit muddy and slippery in there and if you slipped over you could fall and really hurt yourself. So there. Doesn't seem a huge lot of growing space for the amount of effort but we're pleased with it. And I'll grow a few kiwis, tomatoes and she says her Mediterranean greenhouse. Mm.